So the first test we're going to do is a little cinema inspired. And um, if you've ever seen Get Out, we're going we're gonna to recreate that scene. So this is what it sounds like with a spoon being stirred inside a coffee cup. Um, hopefully not by a creepy woman trying to hypnotize you. Uh, but again, this is what that would sound like. And if you were on a call and you did have some coffee or tea and you needed to give it a little stir, this would certainly be fairly distracting. And now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to turn the noise suppression on in WebEx. So remove background noise. Good. All right. So here we go again. So if you happen to be in a case where you're on a call and someone starts slowly stirring the spoon and, and talking in a very monotone voice to you, one, be concerned. So now we're going to do this again in crisp. Um, again, hopefully you're not trying to kidnap somebody while you're stirring your tea. You just don't want to bother people. Um, but this is what it would sound like with the crisp noise suppression on. All right, guys, so the next test we're going to do um, is supposed to embody a couple different things. Could be kids running around playing with toys, could be just some back outside noise, construction, whatever. Could be you trying to find something in your bag, because what we're just going to do, I'm going to jingle my keys a little bit. So this is our baseline test with no noise suppression on whatsoever, um, and what that would sound like during a meeting, which is not great. So that's the baseline test, and now we'll turn on the noise suppression within WebEx. We've got everything selected correctly. And here we go now with the keys being shaken or if kids rattle, run around. You know, so many of us are still working from home. I don't think that's gonna change anytime soon. So this is definitely one to keep in mind. All right, so that's with the WebEx noise suppression turned on. So we're gonna come in here, we're gonna turn that off, boom. All right, and here we go again. So this is what that sounds like within Chris, um, you have any kids run around or you looking for something, this is what you would hear your, your, uh, meeting, uh, attendees would not hear actually because Chris was turned on. So that is our key test. Test number two. All right, guys. So the last one we're going to do is when you're on a conference call, you're on your computer, or your phone rings, which can be really distracting. Um, so what I'm going to do to simulate that is that I'm going to start a timer to one. Okay. So, you know, we've all, we've all been there where we've been on a call and we get a call and uh, it's, it's certainly disruptive and distracting. Boom. Okay. So WebEx is turned on. Here we go with the timer again. You can see it. And, uh, and I'm going to talk my way through this as we go. And there it is. Okay. So this would be if you're getting a uh, phone call coming through while you're on your conference call um and yeah we've all been there it sucks it's annoying so that takes care of that and last one so one more time here we go okay three two and one and there it is so one more time i mean again this is something i think we've all encountered during this time so um just having the ability to not worry about, did I turn my phone off? Did I put it on do not disturb? Um, is it on silent? Like all those things, I don't have to worry about it. All right guys, so that is it for our noise suppression test between WebEx and Chris. We hope that you found this video informative. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at support at crisp.ai and we'll get right back to you. Thanks so much and we'll see you on the next one.